or process of calculating the tax on the taxable income because as we discussed before we do not have a flat tax but rather a progressive tax and the taxes that are going to be applied will be dependent upon filing status such as single head of household married and so on obviously changes in those two line items could have further rippling effects throughout the rest of the tax return okay so if we're looking at the actual tax form the standard deduction is going to be here on line 12 and it'll show you the changes that we have for the standard deduction and the single filer 13,850 you can if you can memorize that number which will change from year to year you can then double it to get to the married filing so then you can remember one thing right the single double it to get to the 27700 and then the head of household is going to be in between those two 20800 in this case and if you have people that qualify for added standard deduction amounts because they're over an age limit or blind you can have different ones from there we'll talk more about the standard deduction in future presentations just noting now filing status will have a big impact on that portion or calculation of the taxes filing status check only the filing status that applies to you obviously we cannot have more than one filing status and our objective is to pick the filing status which we qualify for which provides the lowest taxes